panties and pens it's your girl loud pen but you can call me penny today's vlog is called k penny how i became a multi stan pennies and pens i'm about to spill all the panty in this here vlog y'all about to figure out how your girl spiraled out of control and became a fan of basically everybody in the context of k-pop and the little hip-hop because there's like half of my nas poster all right um yeah Okay, but Penny Sam Pants, before we talk about how I became a multi stan, multi stan, let's talk about what is a multi stan? Like, what does that even mean, Penny? Okay, so a multi stan is simple, y'all. The concept is so, so simple. It's literally just a person who likes multiple different K pop groups or multiple different soloists. So, like, you like, like, for me, y'all know my mains are Master X, Mama Moo, Cravity, Shiny. I'm also getting really heavily in the EXO. I also love Super Junior. It's a whole situation over here. But um, that's all that it means. So you just like multiple different groups. You like multiple different soloists, okay? And you support all of them in whatever form or capacity you like to support. Obviously, you guys see I have a lot of merch and stuff behind me. That's because I'm a big hardcore album collector because I actually do like to play my CDs and records. And so, and because a lot of posters come in the albums, I hang my posters on the wall because it's cheap decor because I spend all my money on K-pop albums so I don't have money to buy actual art or paint. That's a whole other thing. But that's what a multi stand is. It's literally just a person who likes multiple different groups or multiple different solo artists. Okay? Okay, now we get into the fun part of the vlog where we talk about how Penny became a multi stand. Like, because y'all, I really did not know like what it was and that I really even was one until recently. Because I was just like, I just, I just had thought... I just had thought that as a collective whole, K-pop fans, we had collectively decided that we like a lot of groups and different solo artists. But I have recently found that that's not the case. And um, I also have found that I feel like part of the reasons why sometimes we can't dispel a lot of the myths about K-pop fans, like fans that we all crazy fangirls, we just psychopaths and we just stalk the artists and we just doubt that crazy narratives or that like all k-pop fans adult k-pop fans that we childish and immature or whatever because we like k-pop because this thing is thought that k-pop is like cutesy and for children and stuff so i feel like a lot of the reasons why we can't dispel some of these myths and this is gonna sound weird but it's like because more people are not multi stands because like so many k-pop fans only like this one k-pop group or this one k-pop soloist so it makes the genre look well like if you only like one group if you only like one soloist from the whole genre then why should i listen to the genre you feel what i'm saying so i had to make that point real quick that was totally off topic to talking about how penny became a multi-stand but it needed to be said so anyways how i became a multi-stand is very simple is because Truth be told, to this day, I still listen to a lot of, like, Western music. I still listen to a lot of uh, R&B, hip-hop, pop music. Like, I still bought, like, random new copies of Jennifer Lopez's new album, uh, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus. You know what I'm saying? I just bought them albums. So I still rock with Western music, you know what I'm saying? And um, I always have. And so when I first got into K-pop, I, I never thought that I would be as heavily into it as I am now, you know what I'm saying? So like when I first checked it out, it was very, very casual. So I like casually checked out a couple of groups and I liked their music and they vibe. And I was like, okay, this is cool. This is dope, right? And then I found Mama Moo because I actually, of all my current alts, Mama Moo was the first group I found that I've actually stayed with for the past four years because the first couple of groups I found I did not stick with at all. Um, but Mama Moo is the only group that I found way back in 2020 and stuck with this whole time. Four years later in 2024, 20, I'm still rocking with them. And Master X, I found them that year too. But anyways, my Mamu was the very first one on my alt list. So let me talk about how I kind of found my Mamu and how that kind of led to me finding a couple of my other favorite K-pop groups. 
So I found my Mamu because like I said, I had started to casually check out these other two K-pop groups. So more K-pop videos started to pop up in my YouTube feed and my YouTube timeline. And so I started like clicking on them as random or whatever. But I remember when I clicked on my Mamu's Dinga, which mind you was their brand new pre-release song from their 2020 album Travel. So first of all, I got really lucky in general because stumbling upon a pre-release single right before the new album is about to drop when you're not even a K-pop fan for real or I was not a Mumu at that time. I didn't know what a Mumu meant, what my Mumu was. I didn't know. So I just happened to click on the video like I like the thumbnail, right? Because if you look at the thumbnail to the day, that's, that's one of my favorite music video thumbnails of all time something about it is just a vibe like the four of them just sitting there chilling like in this bowling alley vibe with like these kind of retro outfits i know i'm a 90s nostalgic girl so i love that kind of culture and i just like the vibe and i remember i clicked on the video and i was like what and y'all know penny like to have her vino and whatnot so like you know what I'm saying? Everything, even though like I had to have the subtitles on because the song is basically fully in Korean. I was like, whoa, they talking about partying and drinking and getting out of quarantine. That's what the fuck I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, I fucks with this. Like, you know, and even though obviously it's a music video, they just acting. But I just like the scenes where they depict like them hanging out and taking shots and twerking and dancing because it's like... You know, you never get to see like women do that in a music video. And it's not about like them encouraging people to drink or saying you have to drink to be cool and have fun. It's just more so saying like, yo, we grown women, we can do what the fuck we want. And if we want to drink and party with my girls, that's what we gonna do. So I just, it was immediate for me with my mamu. I was like, these are my chicks. Like, this, I was like, if I had some homegirls that was kicking it with in Dallas, it'd be some chicks that was like, mama mood, like for real. Like they are just a vibe to me. So I find them, I start rocking with them. They were the first group where I was like, bro, I have to know everything about mama mood. Like <laughs> I went on an immediate Google search. I set up a Quora account. I had to know. <laughs> it was like immediate, right? So I'm okay, I'm rocking with my mama. So then, like I said, but I'm still a very new K-pop fan. So I'm not in the vibe of like really calling myself a mumu and saying, oh, I'm a part of the fandom and I'm trying to join the official fan club and all this stuff that I do now. Like I wasn't in that vibe yet. So then I casually check out Master X, right? And so I found Master X through their Who Do You Love video. So at this point, I'm starting to learn a little bit about K-pop because I'm hardcore into Mama Moo and I also casually was still following them other two groups. So then it threw me off because everybody else was singing in Korean. So I was like, okay, this is Korean music. This is K-pop. You know what I'm saying? So when I came across Mama Master X's uh who do you love video and they singing in english and they clearly are korean i'm like okay wait a minute now hold up y'all done took the two facts i know about k-pop away the two facts i learned about k-pop is the music videos are usually very bright very fun it's usually got vocals and raps and dancing and then you usually all the songs is in korean because it's k-pop it's korean pop music so then why is this group singing in english <laughs> I was totally thrown off, right? So then I had to Google and research everything it is to know about my stacks. So that's when the multi-fan uh, standing started because at that point, I got so heavily into both Master X and Mama Moo at the exact same time and have been with both groups for four years now that they have become like, obviously they still famous K-pop people. I, mean, K -pop, I shouldn't call them K-pop people. Korean artists that I don't know. So I dare don't know them, you know, but just the music and content that they have put out has become a part of my daily life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, okay, I know Korea 15 hours ahead of me in Dallas. So I know to check the fan cafe at this time to see if they, anybody announced a new album, new whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's become this whole thing. And then I found Cravity, which was my, is my third alt. 
um, because they're the little brothers of Monster X. And so they had a couple of interactions with Monster X and it was really cute and sweet. And I was like, okay, I love these boys' gravity. Like, they are so dope. Like, I was like, I'm standing them, right? And so then I just started rocking with all of their music. And then Kravity became my third alt by default. Like, I didn't even was, like, not even really ready to, like, claim it, claim it. But then I was like, oh, I got every Kravity album on Lolo. Like, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I was like, I low-key have every single Kravity album. Like, their whole discography is behind me. So I was like, bro, I got to claim them as an alt. And, like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, but they're such a dope group. Like, I really, 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 truly believe in them. And I really see um, how much they're going to blow up, you know what I'm saying, um, in the in the coming years. Like, if for real, for real, for real. Like, they are for real, for real it. Like, I just, I honestly think when it comes to people staying in gravity, like, people are just so trend-based. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is a whole other uh, topic. But that's how my multi-standing started because I got so heavily into multiple groups and I never wanted to let go of any of my groups. Like I couldn't let go of Master X from my Mamu. I couldn't let go of my Mamu from Master X. And then I couldn't let go of Kravity from Master X and my Mamu. So then I had them three alts, right? So I'm chilling with three alts. So I'm like, okay, boom, I'm good, right? I got Master X, I got my Mamu, I got Kravity. I got two iconic third gen groups. Cause in spite of the shit the internet like to talk from time to time, both Master X and my mama are incredibly iconic third gen groups. Like, get on a level. Um, and then Kravity is bad too, right? They're my boys. Um, so I was like, okay, I got my three mains, right? But what had happened was Penny has the shortest attention span. It's like, I see something shiny. I, I got to see what's shiny. Okay, so that's that's what had happened. So what had happened was all five of the seven members of Master X are currently enlisted. Wano, Minya, Kian, Hung Wan, and Jahumi. Five of the seven. Okay. And then I am already there, so will come back back in April. And nobody knows what Shanu is doing. He's being a tricky bear right now. He's apparently in Bali partying with some bartering monkeys. Go to his Instagram, Shanu Ayo, for details. So, Dan Penny was like, okay, I ain't got no monsters right now, right? Five of the seven enlisted. One already did a comeback. Got my copies of the album. The seventh member, Mr. Shanu, being a tricky bear. Nobody knows where the solo, solo album go to at. Cool. So, no monsters, right? So, I said, okay, where my mamu go to at? But my mamu, they been busy, right? We in, dropped the full album October of last year. Did a whole world tour. Mumbo dropped the full album in February. Did a whole world tour. Uh, Solar did an album uh, in April. Also on her own mini world tour. Wasa hasn't dropped the album yet. Speaking of albums, Miss Wasa, where's that? We don't know where to go to at. We'll find out. So, but in the, between all of that, Penny was like, okay, what, what, who doing a comeback though, right? Because Penny's addicted to comebacks and concept photos. It's a whole thing. This is multi-stand life, by the way. Like, this is a lot of reason why people like me become multi-stands because we get addicted to the idea of a, Somebody announcing a new comeback, somebody doing teaser photos, concept. We get addicted to that whole situation. So that's why we end up dipping in everybody, in the everybody pot. So any go, any who's, then Gravity, right? Gravity, same thing. They did a comeback in February. They good. I already got the album. I play it all the time. So Penny said, oh, that's Monster X. That's my Mamu. That's Gravity. That's my top three up. But we kind of in between comebacks right now in July 2024. So hold up. What's going on? What's Penny going to do? So then Penny started dipping her toes. Next thing you know, she in the ASPA in the my comment section talking about, Oh, Karina. Oh, I don't go say nothing about you because you might buy back. And Giselle, you a 10 out of 10, honestly. And the coldest winter ever is coming. And... Look at Ning Ning, honey. Um, oh, what's Ning Ning line from um from Supernova? Su 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 Supernova. 
Shoot, I can't think of ding ding. I can't think of your line, sis. I'm sorry. It was dope. Anyways, then I started dipping my toes in Aspa. Next thing you know, I got Aspa whole discography. Then I found, then I found, in between all of this, then I found one of my main, main ults, Shiny. See, what had happened was Alan of Cravity is always going on and on and on about Mr. Lee Tateman. Lee Tateman did this and Lee Tateman did that. And I be watching the live like, Alan, are we going to promote Cravity? Are we going to promote Lee Tateman and Shiny? What's up? So finally one day I said, I'm so tired of Alan my talking about Lee Tateman this and Lee Tateman that. So I'm going to check out Mr. Lee Tateman. Who are we? Who he? You see, it's posted behind me. Shh. Okay. So I said, who oh, Lee Tateman? He, he, he probably ain't all that. Right? <laughs> Mind you, shalls and Taymates, the first Tayman video, My Little Behind Watch, was guilty. Sweetie, if you gonna think Tame It ain't even all that, that's not the first music video you should watch. Because Guilty is a whole nother level. He's acting, he's dancing, he is singing, he is everything. <laughs> so I check out the Guilty music video and fell in love with Lee Tame It. Next thing you know, Pen, Lee Tame It, Lee Tame It, Lee Tame It, right? But I'm like, I ain't gonna stand the rest of the members of Shiny. I'm only gonna stand Lee Tayman. And see, y'all can only see Tayman poster right there because I only have a Tayman poster on this wall. But in my room, I have a whole wall dedicated for Shiny. Like, ain't nobody going on that wall but Shiny. Like, it's nobody, okay? Nobody. All right, but anyways, for real, I'm like, I'm only gonna stand Lee Tayman. I ain't gonna stand the rest of the members, right? But the thing is, they uploaded Mino's Stay For A Night digital single on the Shiny channel, which I was subscribed to because of Lee Tayman. So it was a trap. Y'all got me. So next thing you know, I said, well, I want to see. I mean, he, he a bad, he a group bad Tayman, but he probably ain't going to be as bad as Tayman. So I probably ain't even going to stand him like that. Click on the video. <gasps> Baby, just stay for a night. I say, oh my God, Mino, I stay for a lot. I won't ever go nowhere. I'll be right here in your comment section forever. Right? So they see those. Then Mino was in the pot, right? That's two shiny members. I'm, so I'm only two out of five, though. So I'm like, I'm only two out of five. This is no big deal. No way I'm going to love the other three members like I love these two members, right? Thumbs down. Then I check out Unu. Y'all, it was so instant with Anu. I think I had a new album, like, the next week. Like, I had a copy of Dice and Circle. I don't even know how quickly. I don't even really remember buying them. I just remember, I just remember, I was like, I have to have these albums right now or I'm, I might die. <laughs> right? So, that was that. So now I'm three out of five members in Shiny, right? So I'm like, okay, I got Tame, I got Mino, I got Unu. But that's it. I ain't going to check out no Jung Hun and no Key. I don't know who them people is. But my homegirl was like, no, but Penny, like, you would probably really like Jung Hun. Okay. <laughs> so I check him out. Oh, she is. I'm like, in, I'm in it to win it, honey. In it to win it. Okay. So then I'm like, I'm four out of five members of Shiny. I ain't got no bias because I can never pick a bias. That's another thing I should say mention about me as a multi stand. I can never, I never, I don't, I don't know if I have poor decision making skills or what it is, pennies and pens, but I can never pick a favorite. So next thing you know, right? I'm like, okay, well, that's four out of five shiny. Like, am I going to be OT5? But I'm like, fighting key. I'm like, I can't get in the key because I don't know if key, I just don't know, right? So I happen to leave a post or something on Reddit. I say something, I'm getting a shiny. Somebody leave a comment like, though, you need to check out them key albums, though. Check out Gasoline, right? So Pen go on Apple Music, she check out Gasoline. Sweetie, days after that, I had a copy of Gasoline. See, me, that's the other thing I learned about myself. Like, digital music is cool and everything, but like I said, I really do prefer physical music. But one thing I've learned is that because I do have access, instant access to digital music, 
Not every album inspires me to go out and like actually have to buy it right then and there. There's only certain albums where I'm like, no, if I don't actually have this in my hand, I feel like I'm, I can't go, you know? And that's how Shiny brought, they brought that feeling back to me. I hadn't felt that since I found Monster X, Mama Moo, and Cravity. There was the only other three groups where I was like, bro, I have to have your album right now. Like if I don't get it, I just, I don't think I'm gonna make it. And you know what I'm saying? And I started to feel that way more about Asper recently. Like I had to have Super, um, not Supernova, uh, uh, Armageddon. I was calling it Supernova because that's the title track and that's the version of the album I have. But Armageddon, I had to have Armageddon immediately. I was like, bro, this album is so good. And so then, like, I also been getting heavily in the EXO. Like, I don't have no bias there because, like, I was supposed to bias Kai, but, you know. And then, oh, let me show my Kai posters real quick. Um, So, yeah, y'all see I got my, uh, what is Bam Bam? That, but that, and that's Cravity. Okay, where Kai? Okay, you see Kai right there in, in the bushes and stuff and the, the black jacket and stuff. So, like, I was supposed to bias Kai, right? But, like, you see that's Kung Su, like. And then like I all and then I was downloading pictures of Chin. And then I was I was checking out Suho's and then I was watching Zoom in's vlogs and then but then I was watching Bacon's vlogs and I was like, oh my god, like I'm a multi stand like I so I just I did this whole long vlog to talk about how I became a multi stand. And I don't regret it and I love it and I don't plan on leaving and I think if more people, like, and I'm not saying people be a multi stand exactly how I do it. I'm just saying, like, for real, y'all, like, if more people like, like, a collection of different K-pop groups and, like, a collection of different soloists, like, it will grow the industry. Everything will be just, just amazing. And we won't have fandom wars and, like, my group is the best and my soul this is, like, it ain't gonna happen, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So that's the dad. This was such a fun vlog to shoot. This was the most fun I've had shooting a vlog in a very long time. Like, I feel like it was funny and it was dope and I just had a blast. So I hope y'all enjoyed it too. If you did not, maybe find something better to watch on the YouTube. Peace!